Καλησπέρα σας, καλοί φίλοι διευθέτες. Good evening to you. I have to turn to English straight away. My guest is a uh, Greek Cypriot, but she can only uh, be able to uh, express herself um, in English language. Her name is um, Karen, came from Kyriagi. Your you, is that right? That's right, yes. Kyriagi, your you. Welcome to Helen TV. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice Pleasure to have you to here. here. Yes. Interesting. Um, you know, uh, you wrote a book. Yes. And uh, this is the book. Okay, you can see it. And um, you're going to have some reading very soon. Yes. Okay. Yes. But, um, yeah, before we go to this, um, I want to find out about uh, you. I want to find out more about you. The same as our, you know, uh, you know, the audience. Yes, this is yes. uh, what we do, give more uh, details about our guests. So, your family are from Cyprus? Yes. Both from Famagusta? Yes. Uh, my, my both parents were born in Famagusta. Okay. My mum came over when she was very young, maybe under a year. Uh, my dad came over for education, so maybe around 18, 19. Mm -hmm. But I was born and bred in London, North yes. London, like mm -hmm. many Greeks. <laughs> Do you have other um, sisters, brothers, or you are an only child? I've got an older sister. Yeah, and she's um, involved in uh, writing as well? Or? No, yeah. no, she, she stayed, she's much more logical, rational. Uh -huh. I'm more the arty, creative type. Where you get it from? <laughs> Father or mother? Or? Um, yeah. You know, it's difficult to say really, because yeah. I don't think either of them yeah. are really very particularly creative. What do they do? Are they, are um, they in business or...? My mother, uh, they're both retired now. Uh -huh. But my mother worked in marketing, marketing. So, so quite yeah, business yeah. orientated. Uh -huh. uh, my dad was a computer engineer. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. so um, quite different to writing. Yeah, different, but it doesn't matter. You know, they might be have the ability to write, but they never try. You know what I mean? You never or know. Had the opportunity. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, you live in uh, North London as well, yes? Yes, at the moment, yeah, yeah, yeah but, the moment. but not for too long. Not, not for too, too long. You're planning to move? Yes. Away? The plan is to move to San Francisco. Go and live there and stay there? Yeah, well, it's kind of a test run to begin with. I'm going for three months. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the book out there. They've got okay. lots of um, independent bookshops mm -hmm. where I can um, take the book and um, see how it goes. I mean, it's a lovely country, it's a lovely mm -hmm. city, so potentially it could be somewhere where I stay maybe a year or two. Yeah, so you brought up in North London, educated um, here in North London, uh, you know, school days, young age, and then where? Give us more details about your education. Yeah, so I went to sort of secondary school, primary school, all in North London. Mm -hmm. um, and then went off to Reading University. So it's only maybe an hour outside of London. Mm -hmm. um, and there I did my degree in psychology. Yeah. And um, I mean, it was a tough decision between psychology and English literature. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, they're very similar actually. A lot of um, writers, I think, have they study psychology and uh, English literature. Well, it's more that the, what they're writing yeah. is is a is a creative form of psychology mm -hmm. to understand characters. Exactly. Yes. Yes. To, and um, you have to know the language as well. So to be really, yeah, yeah good, exactly. Yes. So yeah, yeah, that's nice. But you work in various um, you know places as well as you know BBC and all this kind of thing. Give us uh, you know uh, a little bit more information about that. Yeah, so I um, worked, I mean, it was quite handy studying just an hour away from London. When I was at university, I would um, come over for a Saturday job at the Sunday Times. Mm. So I originally started working there just on sort of once a week on, on a Saturday. That built up to working more permanently. And uh, yeah, so spent quite a few years at the Sunday Times, also worked at the BBC, mm -hmm. um, Penguin Books. It was always media for me. I was always media, yes. interested yeah, in... You like media and you, you were involved in media, yes. That's okay, it, yeah. uh, I read the book, 
I like it. You know, it's Good. you know. I'm pleased. Obviously, the poetry and the short stories. Yes. You start writing when you were seven. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, I've always been writing since. Um, since <clears throat> actually, it was a story. It was a, a story given in our assembly at primary school mm -hmm. about Anne Frank's diary, mm -hmm. and I thought to myself, how lovely would it be to write every day yeah. to somebody that doesn't necessarily have to exist, but can listen to my thoughts. Uh -huh. And it was from then that I started writing a journal. Every day I'd write the journal, and sometimes poems would come out. Mm -hmm. And it was just a good form of exercising that writing kind of muscle. Yeah. So from seven I was writing mm -hmm. poems. Okay, what made you decide to put this in a book and publish it and, you know, go on? I got a lot of encouragement from a friend who said, you know, I'd show some of bits and pieces and um, they were sort of like, you, I mean, you've got so much material, mm -hmm. why not put it together in a book? So it kind of got the idea going and at that point I was still writing uh, short stories um, and, uh, and then together um, we sort of started putting them together and I think at the time I was writing a story about Alice in Wonderland mm -hmm. and I'm such a fan of Alice in Wonderland I thought oh how beautiful they c beautifully they could be put together mm -hmm. as a sort of theme around Alice in Wonderland. Yes. So yeah, okay. that was how it began. And you just published the book. Uh, what's happened after that as soon as you published it? I mean, did you manage to uh, uh, put it forward and, uh, you know, did you have a good response from people on this kind of thing? Um, well, to be honest, I mean, it, it, there's, there's a big difference in publishing the book and... Um, big difference to promote it. And, and promoting, yeah, promoting it, it. Yes. yes. So yeah. the book was there for a long time and I didn't really do anything with it. Um, and it's only really now that I'm sort of realising that I, if I want to sort of g g people to be able to read it, to be able to know about mm -hmm. it, I have to be proactive and, and, and start promoting it. So it was very much initially sort of um, something only friends and family mm -hmm. would really know about. and. Um, and I think it was partly fear of letting the rest of the world into that sort of private, personal view mm -hmm. of myself. Okay, but at the moment you are planning a reading, okay? Yes. Okay, can you tell me and um, tell our audience when and where so they might be interested to come and yeah. listen to you reading uh, the book? Absolutely. It's on Sunday the 16th of October. Um, it's at 3 p.m at a bookshop called Offside Books in Kilburn and that's 92 Wilsdon Lane, so North London, North West London. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody wants to come along, I'll be talking more about it. I'll be reading some extracts as well. Yeah, so I'm looking forward you're going to do this for us uh, a bit later on, you know, we're going to read just a, yeah, yeah. a, yeah, a short piece. Yeah. Uh, okay, tell me about San Francisco, I mean, how the idea came about to go there, I mean, was it cap somebody, you know, uh, you know uh, suggested that it's good if you go and uh, promote it there, or it was another reason? It was, um, it was a, m a number of factors. I really wanted a break from London, a break from the sort of nine to five working life, just some space to really think about mm -hmm. what I want to actually do next. Um, and I've got some friends there. It's, um, it's got a lot of entrepreneurs there as well. Okay. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs, I mean, in America generally, but San Francisco even more so. So, I mean, it was, appealing being around that sort of optimistic, creative kind of spirit. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I'd visited once before and had a taste for that, so going there again, it, it was a no-brainer really. Yeah. So, you are not planning to uh, return and do more promotion for your book here in London, in England? I, at some point, maybe, um, but I am going to, because I loved it so much, mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to go back um, sort of end of October San Francisco to again. San Francisco 
and sort of see what kind of response I got there. That I, I mean, it's the home of of the Beat Generation writers, mm -hmm. Jack Kerouac. Um, um, there's a number of poets that that was really the kind of in the 60s. There are a lot of them would would go. So there are some really famous b bookshops. Um, the, that I that I hope will will welcome this type of writing. Why not? Uh, tell me, um, you still writing or yeah, you know, just just have a break at the moment? What, what do you do with the writing? I am writing something at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's difficult to find time for everything, but um, but I'm trying to sort of give myself a little a little gap each day just to kind of sit with the creative process, mm -hmm. see how far I get with it. Um, it's, it's definitely something I want to do more of. I feel there's more in me. <laughs> this just feels like th just the beginning, so. That's the so, beginning, yes, yeah. but um, you're going to carry on writing, I suppose, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is what you're going to do in, uh, in the future. I would like to. I also would like to help other writers, mm -hmm. so I've... Um, and you're going to, um, you know, uh, publish other people's... Uh, work as well, yes? That's exactly it. Um, mm -hmm. it. It's under RAG Publishing, my publishing house. Mm -hmm. So definitely would like to help other publishers, other writers publish their book and promote their book. Mm -hmm. I like the illustrations as well. Yes. You know, I mean, uh, by Susanna Smith is a friend of yours? Or? Um, Susanna Smith was um, an old colleague of mine at uh -huh. Penguin Books. Um, she's a great designer. Okay. Yeah, and she is. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yes. and Sarah Edmonds as well, who mm -hmm. did the front cover. Um, she's a she's mm -hmm. a very sort of talented artist. Yes. So we, I sort of really wanted it to be a beautiful book um, um, with those sort of inspired drawings. So hopefully mm -hmm. we achieve that. Yes. Okay. Uh, in this case, would you like to um, give us an example, something, read something for us before you read, before you do the reading? you know, uh, in uh, October, yes? Yes, absolutely, okay. I could do. You, do you, can, you can read something for us, just okay. a, anything. I mean, a, a short story or might be a poem or whatever. Do you have a favourite at a fa all? A favourite? Maybe uh, a, a poem or a see. rhyme? Uh, yes, let me just see. I mean, you know, I actually I like the full thing. Uh, would you like to read uh, for us um, Little Billy Maker. Little Billy Maker. Yes, sure. please, yes. This was um, actually one of my mum's favourites. <laughs> it, <laughs> one of you? My mum's favourites. We favorites. are mums, you see? You see? Mums You've and, got good taste. Mums and dads, they like it. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is, um, yeah, Little Billy Maker. Little Billy Maker wanted to be a creator. He had a box of twigs and glue to fix and carved them all into little sticks. He started very slowly, piling them one by one. It grew and grew, and before he knew, it was bigger than me or you. People stopped and stared with awe at little Billy's work. Billy stood and looked with pride at what he'd built with, from dirt. The finishing touches, piece by piece, made Billy's heart race beat by beat. The final stick, the glue that slipped, a tug too hard, an eager grasp, a hurried hand, a fretful glance, and little Billy Maker so wanted to be a creator. He had a hundred sticks, a fist that hit and turned them all into splintered chips. People stopped and stared in awe at what little Billy had done. In all the action, little Billy had broken his little thumb. <laughs> Bravo. Very <laughs> good, you. very good, yes. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, so that one is, that one is um, it's more of a rhyme, so I've got poems and rhymes and short yes. stories. Yes, uh, yeah, I realise that, yes. So, um, okay, um, in this case, we um, like to thank you for uh, being here tonight. Thank you so giving much. Giving us for all the information me. about yourself and about the book. And uh, would you like to repeat the day, time, and place where you're going to do the reading, please? Sure. <clears throat> so it's Sunday, the 16th of October at 3 p.m. at Offside Books, which is in Kilburn, 92 Wilsdon Lane. Hope to see you there. Lovely. Thanks very much again, Thank and I you wish you all much. the best with the reading, Thank as you. well as um, future plans. Do you have any future plans, you know, except of, uh, you know, what you say already? Um, Do you have any other plans? I mean, 
enjoy and experience life on the way. I think it's important people can get too um, sort of caught up in, in career goals and you've got to enjoy the journey, I think. Enjoy the journey yeah. of life. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> lovely, yes. As uh, you know, um, uh, I remember um, Gavafis with the Thaka. Oh, yes. Yes, this is what it's all about, yes. you know, enjoy. It's not, it's not the, you know, uh, destination, it's the journey. What Absolutely. you find in, yeah. in, uh, in your road to the exactly. place, in, to the Thaka or to the, what your uh, plans are. Exactly. It's, yes. what, it's, it's how you get there and, and enjoy getting there exactly. on the way. <laughs> okay. Kiriagi, thank you very much. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ευχαριστώ. My Greek is so terrible, I apologize. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you very much thank for you. being here uh, tonight. And, uh, you know, I wish you all the best with your plans and with the reading. And um, when you come back and have another book or another story or whatever, what uh, your plans are, you can always come and talk to us about it again. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank All you. the best. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much, uh, αγαπητοί τηλεθεατές. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ και εσάς που μείνατε μαζί μας. Να σας πω ότι εγώ και εσείς θα είμαστε μαζί και την ερχόμενη Κυριακή, την ίδια ώρα, με ένα καινούργιο πρόσωπο ή πρόσωπα. Μέχρι τότε, να προσέχετε τους αυτούς σας, να αγαπάτε τους αυτούς σας, για να μπορέσετε να αγαπάτε και τους άλλους. Καληνύχτα σας.